hi everybody welcome back to our channel it's Kara here with more videos on weight loss healthy lifestyle and fitness I am here with like a part two to my how I lost 20 30 pounds in two months this video will be how I lost 47 pounds in four months so I lost some additional weight um, and this video is kind of delayed i've lost the 47 pounds kind of like kind of like a month ago maybe two months ago um do you want to start by saying if you have not watched my first video on how i lost 30 pounds in two months please stop watch the video i'll put it in the um description box so you can click that and watch the video just so you can kind of have an update because i will be skimming past a lot of stuff that i went into in detail with okay so if you want to know what it was like before why i started my mindset all that like mushy mushy shit then go watch that stuff i was 250 to start in april and by the end of august i was 203 since august i have been maintaining and it is november 5th right now i've been maintaining since then i'm actually really proud about that because i've been a little bit more relaxed on my diet and exercise but been really conscious with my intermittent fasting and um carb carbs so i'm still eating carbs everybody yes i eat carbs but i have just been mindful with the time of day how much and what days you know how many if i'm eating carbs one day i may not eat carbs another day um so that has been the updates past the you know just the maintaining update i guess you could say um i do want to start off by saying i am not a nutritionist i am not having any edu education behind what i'm doing except for being a specialist in youtube and searching up information anyway like comment subscribe come on i don't even think i should have to say it like i wish i just should just know to do it but please like comment and subscribe hit the notification bell um watch all of our videos all that good stuff all right i'm gonna go over briefly the beginning of my journey and kind of just why i started and when i started in mine i started april 24th friday april 24th it wasn't a monday i do not like when people say i don't want to lose weight i want to start on next i want to start on monday i just feel like you're not ready if you have to start on monday you're not ready you don't want it bad enough you have to want it you have to start your next meal you have to start today right now you know so i woke up and i wanted to change my life and that's what i did you know and if you watch my other video you'll see what led up to this day but i woke up on friday and i didn't stop okay um and I'm a firm believer on that. Don't wait till Monday, okay? Because we may not have until Monday, y'all. Y'all y'all know what it is in 2020. We may not have until Monday. So start today, all right? I'm in, I was in no rush and I'm still in no rush to figure out what works for me, what is easiest for me that I can maintain and doesn't feel like I'm being restricted because I don't like to be restricted. I just don't, okay? thing I did was started fasting. Fasting was the easiest thing for me to do because I Already fasted I didn't eat breakfast I would not eat my first meal until like noon so I fasted okay I could just change my time frame of eating I could do that I could still eat what I want to eat just make sure I'm eating within these times that's my mindset at the time so bam I go on ahead and did that it was easiest thing to change so I recommend starting with the easiest things to change don't go and say i'm gonna drink a, two gallons of water a day after only drinking like two cups like it's just not attainable um i started adding like little smoothies for breakfast to kind of get more vegetables so that was my second thing i needed to add more vegetables into my diet because that's what i lacked i would eat meat and starch that's what my diet consists this way to add more vegetables to me at the time was eating a protein shake and adding spinach and the protein and stuff like that so that's what i did in the morning i was doing that and adding vegetables within my meals so spinach broccoli corn cauliflower green beans peas those were things that i would just add on my plate when i cooked a meal then i took it a step further and said okay let's limit the amount of carbs now listen 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 listen, 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 you. listen, listen, listen. not cut out carbs not 
eliminate cards. Cut back on carbs, okay? So I cut back on carbs by, so first I had to actually remove that breakfast smoothie that I was taking because it was packed with fruit. It was packed with carbs. It was a lot, a lot of carbs. Now, mind you, yes, fruit is good, but it's still sugar. Do your research on sugar and carbs and just when, just do your research. At the time, it was too much carbs in the morning for what I wanted to eat. So, I eliminated that and started doing eggs, bacon, and I started adding spinach in my bacon and mushrooms in my, I mean, uh, spinach in my eggs and mushrooms in my eggs and start adding vegetables while I cooked and more, more than just dinner. And so I was sneaking in vegetables that way, which was helping. Started trying keto meals. Now, mind you, I would still eat outside of the 20 grams, 30 grams. I would still have like 50 grams. I would still have more than what keto would allow. So my body wouldn't be in ketosis, but it's still low carb enough. It's still low enough to shock my body from what I used to eat previously. Um, I would use keto meals, so I would just look up what I had, and I'd have chicken, and just say chicken keto meals, and find a recipe for it. It was the easiest thing for me to do. Um, I'm not a chef. I'm not creative like that, so I literally had to just Google shit and kind of make it work to my taste buds and what I had in the kitchen. And I mean, it worked. I mean, as long as you're in the kitchen cooking your food. You're already a step ahead of the game because nine times out of the ten before that you were buying food. You're going from cooking food, I mean buying food to cooking food, you're already in a step in the right direction. And that's something else I did. I cut out Uber Eats. I had to delete the app, like delete it. I had to cut them out. Uber Eats, DoorDash, Postmates, Grubhub, all of them. They were gone. So and I had to force myself to cook. Um so I still haven't got down meal prepping yet. That's something else I have to tackle. Um, so that was with my diet. As opposed to like how many calories I consumed, I tried to stay within like 1,400. 1,400, 1,200 to 1,400. I would sometimes go higher than that and then sometimes go, you know, right to 1,200. Oh, I swapped out a lot of my vegetables. I mean, a lot of my starches with vegetables. So cauliflower has became my best friend in weight loss because it's so versatile and you can almost use it for any side, mashed potatoes, rice, pizza, um, I don't, there's probably way more, I just don't use them for those things. Um, I use the like lentils and um, like squash or whatever, um, pasta for mac and cheese and pasta try to keep your meals as close to as close as possible to what you used to eat so if you used to like love mac and cheese and you damn near ate it every day try to find you a mac and cheese substitute that is healthy healthier than the previous option so like i said i intermittent fasting um and when you when i talk about my fasting schedule i did them all I really, I did them all. I sometimes eat one meal a day. Sometimes I'll just do the 18, six, I think. Sometimes I'll do the, the um, 16, eight, you know? So it really just depends on my day, where I'm at, what I'm doing. I don't have like a set schedule or routine, which is kind of, kind of bad, but I kind of just wing it based off of what's going on. Like goes by day by day. Um, like I said earlier, if it's not attainable for you, don't do it. You know, work your way up to it. So start with the 16, 8. Shit. Start with fucking um, 12 and 12. Like, just try. Just try to work your way up to something. So that's what I did with my fasting schedule. I cut back on carbs. I still ate carbs. I just cut them back. And how I cut back on them was replacing my size like potatoes and rice with cauliflower potatoes and rice cutting um replacing my pasta with vegetable pasta and um looking up keto friendly meals so you don't have to be on keto to still have a low carb lifestyle like so you don't have to be in ketosis to lose weight understand that it may be a, a, a different rate that you may lose weight you may lose weight way faster than someone who's not on keto and power to you you know if you want something that is sustainable long term and that you know your body can adjust to 
then you know listen to some of these tips so that was really it intermittent fasting cutting back carbs adding more vegetables so exercise was walking the big big chunk of my weight came from walking um and it helped a lot a lot i have cut back on walking a little bit and just focusing more back more on strength training and um hit workouts because i want to tone i've noticed my body is shrinking but it's not like defined you know what i mean so it's like from the front i look the exact same it's not until you turn to the side that you see that i did get smaller but like I just don't like how I'm losing the weight. And so I know that if I add strength training, I can target certain areas and I can kind of just get a more defined look. I want, I want to bow, bow, you know? So I just know I need to get more into strength training. So I tried the Jordan Woods um, workout plan, which kind of was too easy for me, believe it or not. And that was kind of like weird. I had to, I have went through like five weeks of it before I really came to the realization like, okay, Jakara, this is, yeah, you're getting something in, but it's not, it's not what I needed. Um, so from there I graduated to Chloe Ting's, Chloe Ting, I think I'm saying it right. I've been doing her workouts. Um, the eight week shred is what I'm Watch doing. my last video. It was two, sometimes twice a day I was exercising. Walk in the morning, strength training in the afternoon. I kind of cut back where I'll do one or the other now. I won't do both. So um, I do plan to get back to that strictness because I know that's how I can quickly drop it if I go back and intensify what I'm doing. But I also want to know, like, can you maintain this if you go back to not your old lifestyle, but you relax a little bit and have a little bit more wiggle room? Can I maintain it? And I've been maintaining for two months. Um, so working out, um, only thing that's really changed is I'm doing more strength training good things that's been happening i can fit into clothes at ross like i don't know if anybody like has been i don't know but i couldn't fit in the clothes at ross like the clothes were just too tight um they were not fitting and they just did not look cute so i had to go to fashion nova plus size or um forever 21 i can go to ross now and get a six dollar outfit and grab a crop top um I feel so much more confident with taking pictures, um, taking full body pictures. Like people, I let people take pictures of me now. I used to never let people take pictures. Um, now I'm just like that girl, like, hey, can you take a picture of me? Can you take a picture of me? Can you take a picture of me? Um, so that's that. My confidence is kind of just, it's just sort. Like I, I take a lot, not like I didn't take pride in myself, but I take a lot more pride in myself because I know like, you're doing this like you're the one who's making these changes so that um that's changed i'm still not in wonderland like i said i life has been really hectic for me right now i have a lot of different shit going on in a lot of different areas of my life so it's just been weight loss has kind of been second and third to other things that have to take my more immediate attention um but it's not it's not never out of my mind like you know and I'm aware of everything that I'm doing girl you didn't work out today or you haven't worked out this week or you know you have been eating more carbs than you usually have and you're going back has been something that's really keeping me keeping me on track to not backtrack because I don't want to go back I don't like I said in my last videos I will never be that girl who looks in the mirror and hated herself like never ever i'll never be that girl again i may look at pictures and be like damn girl we need to fix this or oh we need to oh that wasn't a good picture of you but i will never be that girl who hated herself i'll never hate myself again that is just so mean to me um so watch my vlog <laughs> for you and stay consistent um that has been my biggest struggle with all my weight loss journey and i find myself having the same having the same issue with this weight loss journey is consistency so i do 
slap myself in the back of the head sometimes and say, girl, it's been a week. It's been a week and a half. What are you doing? And, you know, I'm like, all right, let me, get, let me make sure, you know, let me be mindful. Let me eat my carbs earlier. Okay, let me make sure I'm cooking more. You know, so I do adjust. Um, it's just the holiday seasons right now. I have a lot of, um, I had a lot of trips coming up. I have another trip coming up. I may vlog it. We'll see. It's a um, cabin trip in California. It's going to be snowing. Um, so it may be a cool little family trip that I may vlog. Um, but like I said, I have maintained these last two months. So I don't want anybody to watch this video and think like, oh, she's lost the weight. She she went back to her own her habits. No, I did not. No, I didn't. I'm nowhere near my old habits. I may indulge more, but my day-to-day -day is really still the same. Um, what a ramble, I feel like I'm rambling. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and cut this video. Cut it, cut it, cut it. Um, Y'all look out for some vlogs. Y'all go watch my vlog. Um, watch my other weight loss videos i have a weight loss tips like in a motivation video that i posted that i believe will be really helpful i have a lot of screenshots of like things that i've been doing and like kind of like proof of what i've been doing in that video so definitely watch that if you have any suggestions for what type of videos you would like to see tailored to weight loss please comment down below let me know i don't know what type of video to do next like i said I really only did this video because I seen how well it, my last video was doing and thought I should do an update to just let you guys know that I am still going strong. I'm still losing. Well, I st after that video, I still lost weight. Um, right now, I am at a plateau. But I don't even want to call it a plateau because I'm more so just maintaining and just kind of comfortable where I'm at. But I'm getting to my goal of 165. That is my goal. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for to be great and